I'm gonna show you how to open a bottle of wine with one of my favorite tools, the waiter's corkscrew. That's all coming up. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel, the show that helps you drink adventurously so you can expand your palate and expand your mind. I am your host, Matthew Horky. I'm gonna show you how to open a bottle of wine today. You know, us wine geeks take this kind of knowledge, this kind of stuff for granted. It becomes second nature to us, just kind of like driving a car. But uh, we tend to forget that to most people that drink wine casually, this is quite intimidating. I'm no different. When I first started drinking wine, I had no idea how to use any of these things. And when I saw people open a bottle of wine with it, it looked so elegant, so cool, so classy. I thought, wow, I wanna learn how to do that. So I'm gonna show you today. These are my favorite tools of choice when it comes to opening wine. You have many options out there. You have uh, the rabbits, you have different types of equipment, but there's nothing so portable, elegant, lightweight, and inexpensive as these waiter's corkscrews. The cool thing is they can be found everywhere for around, you know, anywhere from five to seven bucks. A lot of times if you're buying wines, if you're going to tasting rooms, these will be given to you as gifts so they, they can be readily available. I actually have a fetish and I collect too many of them, more than I actually need. There's a few popular brands I have here. These brands are fi found widely around the world. First, we have the Pull Tex. Uh, we also have the Pull Taps. And also Murano is a very, very famous producer. The reason that I like these is these have two levers, two points of contact. So they're, it's really important when you open the wine so you don't break the cork. The one that I like to use is Coutal. This is a French brand. It's actually invented by a, a man that owns Clos La Coutal in Cahors, France. For some reason, I like the Coutal better. I don't know why, it's just ergonomically, it fits in my hands better. I feel like it's a little bit more elegant. Uh, I'm not associated with this brand or any of these brands. This is just personally what I like to use. Another cool thing about these is they actually all come equipped with a crown cap opener. So if you have friends that like beer uh, or drink something under a crown cap or even a soda, you've got them covered too. Let's start off by working with that foil capsule. Now the, the cool thing about these foil capsules, if you're just by yourself, you wanna open a bottle of wine fast or you want a party trick, there's actually a quick and efficient way to get the foil off. All you do is grab it right here, twist it back and forth, and usually you can pull it out real easy. But you know what? I'm gonna help you be classy. So we're gonna open it the waiter's way. First, you open up the serrated knife here. This is to cut the foil. Then you just want to cut right under the lip of the neck here, at the top of the bottle. Uh, some LAs usually do it in front once and in the back for the second go round. But uh, if <laughs> there's no shame in just grabbing the bottle and twisting it and spinning the knife. I also like to cut down the middle so it's easier to take the foil off. Now, you can take the foil off with your hands but I'm teaching you how to be classy, right? So use the knife and peel it right off. Next, open up the waiter's corkscrew and get the corkscrew out. You wanna insert it in the middle of the bottle, right here, and start turning it clockwise. It takes about six and a half times to get through the cork. You wanna make sure that one curl shows along the top. This is so it's easy to use the two lever system to pull the cork out without bending the cork. Bend down the lever at the midpoint, this first point, attach the lever to the top of the bottle and lift up a little ways, release the lever, put the second lever down, pull it up some more, and then easily you can just take the top off with the rest of your hands. Voila! And that's all there is to it. Now you're free to look cool, enjoy wine with your family and friends. That's what wine's all about, bringing people together. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you, and I will see you at the next episode.
Hello, thanks for watching. Hey, you made it to the end. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell so you know when new videos are out. If you like content like this, check out our Patreon page where you get some behind the scenes exclusive content. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.